Hello YouTube and today I'll be doing a video that is requested by many of you guys. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to legit check a Yonex badminton racket. But first let me give a shout out to my sponsor Long Tang. They're an authorised badminton dealer in Hong Kong that sells genuine products at much lower price than basically any other place. They offer international shipping so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Or if you're in Hong Kong you can simply visit their store and you get to like see loads and loads of different rackets and accessories and shoes and whatever. Everything is there. Just click on the link in the description below to visit their site. So since my sponsor is like super awesome, they sell rackets at a much lower price than basically any other place and people are wondering like, how is that possible? Is it because those rackets are fake or something? Well, the answer is no. All their rackets are genuine. Let me just give you like a mini list of all the rackets that I own and bear in mind I legit checked all of them and they're all genuine. So Poison Cobra verified long time. The rackets are Arcsaber 11, Voltric FB, Astrox 77, Voltric Lindan Force, Victor Jet Speed S12, Leaning Airstream N99, Gold Medal Chenlong Edition, 2 Juro 10s, 1 Juro Z Strike, Arcsaber 10, Taufik Hidai Edition. So as you can see, there is loads and loads of different rackets that I got from Long Tang. The reason that Long Tang can offer these amazing rackets at such a low price is because they have extremely high stock numbers. Literally, if you look at the photos on the screen right now, this is just like a small portion of the amount of stock that they get. So they basically just outcompete everyone and they can sell it at like a much lower margin. Many of you guys have actually shopped at Long Tang and you guys actually contact me saying, oh, it was a great service, I got my racket, this and that. If you'd like a shout out on the YouTube video, then make sure you share your experience in the comment section down below on my badminton videos and you might be featured. So let me just give like a quick shout out to three people that have already shared their experiences. Ho Ying Tang, Legend and Happy Cat. I'm not going to read out like their full length messages. I'm going to give them a chance to like if they're watching this video to do like a in-depth like review of Long Tang if they want. So in this video, I'll be using three main sources to help me like teach you guys about how to legit check a racket. And those three sources are the main Yonix website, sticksmash.com and also Badminton Central um, in one of the forums. All three sources will be linked in the description below. So if you want to have like a closer look yourself, just hit the links below. I actually learned quite a few things from these articles. It's actually quite amazing. Although I know how to legit check like Yonix rackets, these articles actually give so much detail and props to them. Let me just clear up one big misconception about identifying fake rackets first. Some people are saying that, oh, if your Yonix racket has the word SP written on the shaft, it means that it's fake. That is totally not true. If you haven't seen my other video about fake rackets already, it's in the link in the description too. Basically in that video, um, I kind of exposed this other YouTube video that was trying to say that oh, all rackets are fake if they have SP. SP means Singapore and it does not mean South Pacific. It's been confirmed by Long Tang, Yonix themselves, my badminton stringer who's been stringing for over 35 years and he's been in like the badminton industry for even longer and various other people, for example like the Yonix team at the events. But regardless of whether it means South Pacific or Singapore, the word SP does not mean your racket is a fake. SP is simply a country code. It is just used to identify what part of the world, what kind of like region of the world, if I would say it like in a broader term, the racket is meant to go to after it's been produced in the same factory in Japan. If it says SP strictly, you could say, oh, it's only meant for Singapore. But since Asia is so big and all the links are kind of connected together by Sunrise. Sunrise is just a Yonix distributor managing the Asian parts of the world. And so SP rackets end up in Hong Kong and various other places like Vietnam too. So please don't worry. So now I'm going to run through the list of things that you need to do to legit check a Yonix racket. Um, I'm going to go from the easiest things you can like spot to the harder things to spot. So if you just follow the order that I'm going to go in, it's going to make your life a lot easier. I'm just not going to put it in randomly. So if you go to a store and you find a racket that is way too cheap and it's just ridiculous. For example, getting a Jura 10 for £10. Jura 10s are like £90 on Long Tang and they're like normally £200 or at least £150 on other websites. 
90 pounds from Long Tang isn't too low because I mean if you look at the production margin of these rackets it cannot be so expensive that they can't sell the rackets at 90 pounds. The second thing you should look at is the general quality of the racket. You can look at the weight of the racket. As you know, most Yonix rackets are actually quite light, especially the high-end ones. So if you actually pick up, for example, like a Jura Z Strike and it feels like it's made from like solid steel or something like that, then you know something's wrong. You can also look at the design and also the paint quality. For example, if you look at this racket, the Voltrix Z43 that I have painted myself, this would definitely not pass off as a real racket. If you go on eBay and you just search up Voltry Z Force 2, you can find loads of fakes there for like £30, £40. And my friend actually bought one. And when he got the racket, immediately you can see the paint isn't very good quality, it's the wrong shade. Um, for example, like the glossiness or the matte finish is not completely perfect, it's just really, really off. And if you see it, you will just know it right away. Also, if the painting of the racket has like bleeding ink and what I mean by that is if you look at like the intricate designs and the ink is like look like it got smudged or something like that then it's definitely fake because Yonix has very very good production quality and their stuff won't start bleeding. Also if you look at the different parts of the racket that is attached by glue for example the actual grip itself and also the shaft this part is attached by glue. If the racket starts making some weird noises and it doesn't just feel like it's held together firmly, then it's most probably fake too. So just recently my friend told me that he got a Nano AZ speed from his cousin. Um, right off the bat, if you look at it, it looks fairly legitimate. You can see the painting looks very, very realistic. It's even got like the tiny details of sparkly bits and the general shape and the feel of the racket is quite legitimate. And then after I started swinging the racket like this, um, if you swing quite hard, like this space is quite confined at the moment. If I had more space and I can show you, if you do it like this really hard and then you just stop dead on track, you can feel the flex of the racket. And as I know, the Nano Z Speed isn't the most flexible racket in the world and it's actually quite stiff. So that already just kind of made me feel weird. I was just like, that's not right. So then I decided to look at the minor details of the rackets. Some parts are right, you know, this is actually quite a good replica, although I do not condone replicas at all. For example, if you get a £30 fake, it's not going to be as good of a quality as a £30 legitimate racket from another brand. Because they've spent more money trying to copy someone else's design, rather than to just use that money to make a nice racket. So please do not buy fakes. 100%. I've seen some people in my comment section down below saying, where can I buy fakes? Oh, um, can you give me a fake racket? Like, no, I just do not support fakes. And if you use a fake, like, just don't. Come on, don't kid yourself, you know. You're not getting a racket to show off. You're getting a racket to play badminton, a sport that you love. Now let's talk about the little differences in this racket and the legitimate one. So, yeah, it can help you identify the fakes. First of all, when my friend handed me this racket, he also handed me the case that it came with. And as you know, this racket is a nano ray. He handed me a nano speed case. Personally, I haven't seen a real nano speed case or a nano ray case in real life before. Um, so I don't really know what it's meant to feel like and how the finish is meant to be. But I don't think a nano ray racket will come with a nano speed one. That's literally trying to say, a Voltric racket will come in a Jura 10 case or something like that. You know, it just doesn't make sense. So as you know, on the nicer Yonix rackets, the rackets all come with like a nice plush case. On the Astrox 77, for example, if you feel the inside, the plush material is actually quite thick and it's quite bouncy. And that's really, really good to protect your racket. If you feel this case, although it looks like it's still got that plush material, it is nowhere near as thick and nowhere near as bouncy. And the general feel of like the material just feels cheap. And like the printing of like the writing, for example, the Yonix and also the logo, all that little detail. There's loads and loads of little bleeding on the edges. Every single Yonix series racket has a different case. For example, if you look at the Astrox series, it comes with this case. So... Just kind of look at it in the light, you can see the reflections, it kind of shimmers as you move it. On the fakes it might not have that, so you need to be very very careful. As you can see on screen right now, I'm showing like the case of a fake Jersey Strike case and also a real Jersey Strike case. 
this image is taken from Stick Smash. Shout out to them once again. All like most of the pictures I'm gonna use in this video is from them. And you can clearly see that on the real one, there is like different definitions on different parts of the uh, case. You can see the writing is a bit more glossy, and the parts that there is no writing on is a bit more matte. I don't have every single racket case in the world, so I'm just gonna show you the ones that I have in hand right now. This one is the Jura 10 in the frosty blue Lee Chong Wei color edition. And just have a closer look here. So now let's look at the Legends Vision like edition rackets. For example, like the Arc Saber 10. For example, like the Taufik edition uh, Arc Saber 10. There you can see. Here you can see the Lin Dan Force case. The Lin Dan Force case is very, very similar to the Voltric series case. Um, the general shape is almost the same but it's just the colored differences so on here you can see the five stars to represent china and then you can see the lindan logo here everything perfect very very clean design arc saber case this one's made of fabric so this is one side as a zip and you can put some stuff in it and it says arc saber here yonix the other side is just kind of plain and if you look at the normal jury case you can see it's just basically the exact same as the Li Chong Wei edition. Only the Li Chong Wei edition has the Li Chong Wei logo and just a bit more like details in terms of this line there. So now let me just show you um, the normal Voltric series case. Once again, there's golden tones, but it's slightly different to the Voltric Lin Dan Force tone, as you can see. You can see the Voltric tri voltage system like logo here. I know this video is mainly about Yonix rackets, but I'm just going to show you the other two rackets that I have. This one is the Victor Jet Speed S12. The racket didn't actually come with a case when I got it, so Long Time just gave me this cloth case. And for the Airstream N99 Chenlong Edition, if you look at the review, I give like a very, very good close up of the case. But here it is. So, all of my rackets I've just literally taken off the packaging around the grip. When you get a new Yonix racket, you get this plastic wrapping around the handle and there's like a hologram plus some stickers with some barcodes on it. Um, I can't really show you right now because I've taken that off these rackets. But on screen you can see some photos from Stick Smash where it literally shows the difference between the real rackets and the fake rackets packaging. The unpeelable hologram is Sunrise's little trademark thing and even high quality fakes cannot copy it. There is also a barcode. Um, so you can see like the little details does it look right you know and if you look on the hologram there's a little code on it and if you get that code and you click on the link in the description below which directs you to Sunrise's own website that website allows you to put that code in it's like a one use code and you can legit check your racket there so the next thing you're going to look at on a racket is the actual hologram sticker on the control cap on the real rackets the stickers are a lot harder to peel off so all you need to do is just put your thumb on the edge of the sticker and just push and if it just peels off really really easily then it's definitely a fake also if you study the design of the actual hologram sticker itself you can kind of see that the fake one kind of looks dodgy you know if you like move it around in the light it doesn't reflect the same way as the real one does and it just doesn't look like it's been made of high quality stuff also something that you really want to look at is the actual writing on the side of the racket on the control cap side and also on the bottom of the shaft this part of the racket is called the production number all of these writings are engraved by laser no matter if it's low end or high end Yonix rackets so if you put your finger on it and you just scratch the writing and if there's no like little grooves inside and it's just flat like it's painted on definitely a fake if you look at the production number on the control cap you can see there are seven digits so the first two digits of this number is the date so zero four means the fourth and the next two digits is the month so one zero means October. The next digit is the year, so if it has a two, then it means it's from 2002. And the last two digits of this code is actually a country code. So JP means Japan. So if you look on a racket, although this is slightly harder if you're not like completely knowledgeable on badminton rackets, this is just one of the methods that you can do, but yeah, th there's still loads of different methods that you can legit check. So if you look at an Arc Saber 11, and if you look at the year and it says zero, that means it's made from 2002. And as you know, 
Arcsaber 11s haven't even come out at that time, so definitely there's something dodgy. If you pay close attention to the font of this writing, you can also kind of look and see if it's fake or not. If you look on the real Astrox 77, you can see the P is a lot more normal looking, and if you look at the fake, the P looks like, oh my days, it looks like it got hit by a truck. The next thing to do is also look at the control cap. If you look at like the little markings to tell you about the recommended string tension, and if the string tension is kind of wrong to the ones that are legit, then obviously it's fake. And also, if you look at the writing and you put your finger on it and you feel that is not laser engraved once again, and it's just simply painted on, then it's fake. On the fakes, the PBSI logo tends to have a little bit of bleeding where it's painted on. The next thing to do is also turn to the four side of the racket and you look at the Yonix logo. If you look at the fakes font for the Yonix logo, you can see it's a lot bolder and it doesn't really look right compared to the legitimate Astrox 77. If you look onto the bottom of the racket where there's the butt caps, you can look at the Yonix logo and if it looks kind of weird, then it's probably a fake. So on the fake Nanoray Z-Speed, you can see that the Yonix logo is a bit wider than normal and is a bit more spaced out. If you look at the shades of green on the two control caps, you can see the fake one is a slightly different shade to the real one. So right now I'm putting up a picture of four different rackets and you just kind of have to guess which one is fake. I posted this post on Instagram, so make sure you follow me at poisoncobra.ken to see if you're right. So by now you most probably have been able to legit check the racket and tell whether it's real or not, but there's some more extra things that you can do to 100% legit check the racket. So I'm just gonna remove the grip on the Nanoray Z-Speed. On all of the Yonix rackets, it comes with like a stock grip. And if you look at the pattern of the grips, you can kind of see the Yonix logos and also this kind of D-shaped looking thing. On this fake one, the Yonix logo looks a bit dodgy and it's just printed kind of weird. So now I'm just gonna remove the grip on my Astrox 77 to show you how it's meant to look like. Okay. So I finally removed the grip and most of the residue, although there's some left. That took an exceptionally long time. I don't know why is that, normally it doesn't take that long. I think it's cause the change in weather made the glue like get proper attached to the wood. But yeah, as you can see here, well, I don't know if you can see because like, I don't know if the camera is pointing at the table. There's like loads and loads of little bits. Okay, now I just made it fall onto the floor. Back on topic. If you look at the grips of these two, you can see on the real one, the actual grip itself is self-adhesive and it actually grips onto the wood. Whereas on the fake, the back of it is made from this clothy felt material and it doesn't actually stick to the wood. It's just wrapped around and then the ends of the grip is just attached to the wood through some crappy like double-sided tape. Also on the legit Yonix rackets, you can see after you remove the grip, there's this sticker thingy that's put on there and it has a barcode on it. There's only a bit of the sticker left because most of it is just bunched up in this little mess. If you look on the real one, you can find a little screw inside the wood and on the fake ones, this is basically like a 100% guarantee legit check. Like the fake ones do not have it. Also, as you might know, inside the badminton racket grip, there's this like tube thingy that is made of plastic and that adds weight to the actual handle of the racket. On some of the fakes, I'm not going to open up the actual thing here, but there might not be the actual plastic tube that's inside and it might just be hollow as seen on the picture in the screen right now. Whereas on the real ones, there's definitely going to be one. So if I just get the real racket and I just do this, listen to it. It's quite a high pitched and quite a solid sound. Now let's listen to the fake one. It's a slightly duller sound on the real one. The wood itself is actually a lot more denser and so is better quality. Whereas on the fake one, the wood is a lot more softer, a lot less dense and therefore is less good of a quality. You can also do a test if you get like a razor blade like this and you actually just scratch the wood. On the fake one, it will scratch a lot easier. Whereas on the real one, it will scratch a lot harder. So I'm not gonna do it to these two rackets because number one, I really love my Astrox 77. And number two, the fake Yonix racket isn't actually mine and I respect my friend's property. So since this racket is actually quite a decent replica, they actually put little, like, we're gonna call it lips for now, okay? Underneath the control cap, you can kind of see this thing that reaches down and it's just kind of weird. 
some of the fakes, like actually most of them do not have this. Now let's move on to the final sector of the legit check. And this part can only be done if you're very, very knowledgeable about badminton rackets and you've kind of experienced them in real life. The first thing you can do is test out these rackets by actually playing with it. Does the racket perform as it should? Does it hit clear as well? Has it got good accuracy? Does it show the traits that it's advertised to be? Does it match with the other reviews that people are giving? Another way is if you look at the shaft, um, it's also quite hard to notice because sometimes you do not know. If, you, if the shaft is a lot more thicker than the normal Yonex rackets, then it might be fake. But to be honest, you can't really judge where a shaft is really thick or thin unless you have a racket next to you to compare. The Nano Z Speed has quite a stiff shaft, whereas on the fake, it's actually quite flexible. And probably the hardest legit checks that you can do is with the sound. This way you can't really tell whether it's real or not unless you're like super, super, super experienced. But occasionally on rackets you can hear the difference because in Yonex rackets they put something called the sound filter. It creates that kind of explosive sound, for example in the Voltry Z Force 2 when you smash you hear like a thunderous boom. On the fake ones they might not have that technology to implement that so when you smash it kind of sounds dodgy and it doesn't really sound that powerful. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed it in any way, please leave a like and we'll try to get this video to 250 likes. If you want to see more legit check tutorials on like different items or different brands, simply comment it in the comment section down below and I'll do it. Please like, subscribe and turn on my channel. Bye bye!